Hey guys, this is Michael from Conquer Chemistry. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how to find the theoretical yield, the actual yield, and the percent yield. And we're going to be doing this by working through this example. So this example reads, 9.87 grams of ammonia reacts completely according to the following reaction. If 13.74 grams of urea are produced, what is the percent yield for this reaction? We're trying to figure out the percent yield. So let's start by writing out what's the equation for percent yield. Percent yield equals the actual yield divided by the theoretical yield times 100%. The actual yield is how much product was actually produced from your experiment. The theoretical yield is how much product theoretically should have been produced if your experiment went 100% according to plan and there was no errors at all. So this ex this problem actually tells us what the actual yield for urea is. It tells us that this 13.7 gram, 4 grams of urea that was produced. So we're going to substitute that in for the actual yield, 13.74 grams. And then for theoretical yield, we have to do stoichiometry. We have to take the 9.87 grams of ammonia and then convert it to grams of urea. So we're essentially doing a gram to gram conversion. And that's what we're going to do here. We're going to take the 9.87 grams of ammonia and our first step is to convert it into moles of ammonia. So that means we're going to divide by molar mass. I'm going to have the molar mass of ammonia on the bottom, 17.031 grams of ammonia. And then on the top, one mole of ammonia. So when you do that, the grams of ammonia cancels out. Next, we're going to do a mole-to-mole -mole conversion to get, to get it into the moles of the desired product, which is a urea. So I'm going to have moles of ammonia on the bottom so the units cancel out. I'm trying to get to moles of urea, so that goes on top. Moles of CN2OH4. And then the mole-to-mole the -mole ratio I get from the coefficient. There's going to be a 1 in front of the urea, so I put a 1 here. And then there's a 2 in front of the ammonia, so I'm going to put a 2 there. And the moles of ammonia cancels out. Now I left, left the moles of urea. And then the next step is to multiply it by the molar mass of urea, which is 60.056 grams of urea over 1 mole of urea. And then that way the moles cancel each other out. And then we're left with the answer 17.4 grams of urea. So that's going to be my theoretical yield. Now I'm going to take that that theoretical yield and I'm going to substitute it in here. So I'm going to plug in 17.4 grams for the theoretical yield, multiply it by 100%. And that gives me 79.0%. So that is my percent yield. So I covered, We they told us the actual yield, we figured out the percent yield, and then we also used stoichiometry to figure out the theoretical yield. So let's take a different approach. Let's pre pretend uh, it, instead the problem wasn't asking us for percent yield. Let's pretend that the problem was, the problem gave us that percent yield equals 75% and then it asks us for actual yield. So then to do this, we would just set up the same equation, percent yield equals actual yield divided by theoretical yield, but this time we're going to be solving for actual yield. So we have to we're going to just substitute numbers in. We have 75% as the percent yield. The actual yield is my unknown. And then the theoretical yield, it's the it's what we saw for earlier, 17.4 grams, and then multiply by 100%. Then we just use algebra to solve for the unknown. So we're going to divide both sides by 100%. So that gives us 0.75 equals the unknown over 17.4 and then multiply both sides by 17.4 to cancel out that and then that's going to give us the 
that's going to give us 13.05 grams as our actual yield. And that's it. Just, just to summarize everything, you really just need to know this equation that percent yield equals actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100%. Generally, actual yield will be provided. Uh, and then theoretical yield, you can figure that out by using the gram to gram stoichiometry method. Yep, hopefully that helped. Uh, if you found this video to be helpful, then like the video, subscribe, because throughout the entire semester, I'll be posting up a ton of chemistry videos that will help you do better in this class and conquer chemistry. And if you liked my teaching style and you're interested in individual tutoring, check out www.conquerchemistry.com slash online tutoring. And I'm going to include a description in the link below, so then you can just click on the link and get there e more easily. Keep practicing, and then until next time.